Hello everyone, it is the Feral Daryl that plays and welcome back to another Overlook RP video. In this video today we will be discussing the future of Overlook RP and while we speculate all of the new updates to come for the future in Overlook RP. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So as you guys know, the Easter update left a few days ago, and in replacement, we have yet to get anything. Um, so this game is my all-time favorite game in Roblox, and I have been recording YouTube for it for a long time. And there has been droughts like this before, where there hasn't been updates like every single week or anything. Which I'm fine with, but I'm hoping that we get some kind of new update uh, very, very soon. And what um, Wonderwork Studio in the Twitter spaces from Christmas 2020, they said a lot of different things that we will be getting in the first quarter of the year in 2020. And the first quarter of the year is up until March, and we have yet to get these things. So I'm going to read a list right now of all the things that they promised. A lot of these things were very short term, like until uh, Christmas Day or New Year's Day. So there's a lot of old things on here. Uh, one thing, movies will work sometime in the future. For example, we go to the movie theater over there in Overlook RP, and we would be able to see a movie playing, which makes sense because it's a movie theater. I mean, it would make sense if the movie theater has actual movies going on in the background. But like right here in the movie theater right here, it's just a countdown with the number six and nothing else. Like it doesn't change. It's not a movie. So that would be cool. Um, a movie in the future. Oh, Easter chick. All right. That's nice. I'll take it. Um, mailing will be coming back or some type of gifting will happen in the future. Uh, because mailing got, got taken away right before Overlook RP came out. Next, we'll be able to look after our family's pets. Now they did add families, which is nice, but they never added the ability to raise our family's pets. Next, Emerald and Wish rewards will have given before the holidays that already happened. Uh, seashells and artifacts won't be coming back. That's just a little statement. Um, a community manager will be hired. And I, boy, I do have some news for you. We just got a brand new community manager for the Overlook RP uh, team and I'm so excited about that. So now, well literally for the last probably forever, people have been complaining about the lack of um, community management and the lack of Wonderwork Studio listening to our feedback. And now we should have a little bit more feedback going into Wonderwork Studio because they finally hired a community manager. Hope they um, say more or spill more tea somewhere on the next updates or something coming soon. Um, um, the NPCs will have voice scripts. Yes, that happened. Um, there will be no New Year's pet, which did happen. Uh, the economy will change. The emerald earnings and prices will be adjusted, which they did. And I think the economy in Overlook RP right now is at its best point ever in all of Overlook history. We don't have as many millionaires or billionaires and I do believe the economy is very stable right now for Overlook RP, especially after the brand new fruit trees giving us um, the most fruit ever and the most gems ever. So I think that's a good change. Uh, so the economy is fixed. I do have to say that. More roleplay features in January. Yes, that happened. But honestly, I think the biggest way to fix Overlook Bay right now is to get is to stay off of the um, role play aspect of the game because let's be honest no one does the role play features in Overlook RP not once have I ever seen people role playing uh, like they would in Brookhaven or like a normal role playing game no one actually does that so I think it would be nice if they go back to this pet raising game like it was before and a, a game where you have fun with your friends not necessarily role play but we can have fun in other ways. 
Uh, so I think that would be a great way to start and improve. Uh, but I think they just need to add a whole new feature and they should be more prepared. For example, Ropets, their update, they just added like 200 something new mini pets. And the mini pets feature is like the best feature in any video game in like forever. So that's like the best way ever for uh, something good to happen in the game. Just have a big update planned and let it be like the update of the year or something that brings a lot of people back. But it has to be unique. It can't just be like another holiday pet pod or like a small event with a little race cart track. Um, and that's pretty much it. Like the last few updates have been very repetitive. There's been a new currency. We grind to get the new currency and we spend it on pet pods. Not anything super special. Like probably the most special thing we've gotten is the griffin pet where it's rideable and flyable. We need more unique things like that. Whether to make little mini petlings or maybe even be able to equip more items in these slots down here. Like uh, a pickaxe in one of them or something. Or maybe we could even get a new or like um, have multiple pets selected at once or have just like a new category up here somewhere something new like we have pets collectibles food vehicles tools and storage i think we need something else like we need crafting or something like some unique future feature that adds to the game speaking of a unique feature that adds to the game uh obby's and uh, Obby in the university was planned for the first quarter of the year, and that didn't happen. And we'll be able to get exclusive rewards for doing the Obby. And all kinds of fun Obby levels, just like Ropets, once again. I know I keep mentioning the game Ropets, but that's because their studio is doing everything right right now. They have new updates, and as soon as one update leaves the game, they have another update planned and comes out on the same day which is very very awesome that's what one rook studio should do have even if it's a small update just plan an update every two weeks or so and once one event leaves a new event takes in its place i think that would be great especially as we go into the summer months and more kids are out of school and we're all at home we have to get addicted to some game on roblox and overlook rp can take advantage of that and create some huge new feature to get people playing back again. Uh, next up on the list was Season Pass coming back next year. Now this one's interesting. The Season Pass came and left. <laughs> as funny as that. So I posted a video uh, quite a while ago actually, probably a month ago, talking about Season Pass changes that we definitely need in Overlook RP. And I think those changes could really change the game and bring back a lot of players right there. So community manager, if you're here, please go check out that video. It's very important. You will learn a lot. And the game will be a lot better if you implement some of those features or all those features into a brand new, new and improved season pass. Um, next up, uh, level 95 fishing pet will be rewarded. Yes, that happened. Jobs aren't coming back, but farming will be a new skill. So the skills right now we have is the fruit picking in the fruit trees. We have fishing and we have mining. Those are three skills right now. Um, and farming will be a great addition to that. Just imagine having another garden in your house and you can farm some potatoes or uh, some carrots or something and you can cook with it. Cooking would be great for the game as well. We can uh, make our own, grow our own plants, cook it, sell it, maybe even feed it to our pet for pet XP, or do something like that. We just need another feature like that. Cooking would be perfect. Um, uh, farming is perfect. We just need more big type of updates like that. But right now, guys, I'm sad to tell you that there's nothing planned at all. Well, maybe in Wonderworks Studio, but they haven't released any tea on the Twitter yet or on Discord or TikTok or any of those social medias for Wonderworks Studio. There is no information for a new update. So all we can do is speculate right now. And number one on the wish list for me, not an event, not a pet pod, none of those. We just need something unique, brand new that will bring a whole ton of people back to the game. I would uh, hope that that update would arrive by the end of May, 
probably the week of May 26th, last week, or the first few weeks of June as people start to go out of school. Personally, my school ends June the 3rd, maybe June the 2nd. So that would be nice if we have a brand new update as soon as school gets out for everyone or for the majority of the players so that we have something to do in our free time. Because honestly, I've been playing a lot of Adopt Me and Row Pets lately because there's not much to do in this game right now. You can collect gems and raise pets, but that's all I really can do. Like, there's no events right now. There's no new feature to grind for. Like, the row pets' petlings are just so crazy because every hour you get tasks, you get the, the petling coins, you can unlock petlings, merge the petlings to create uh, higher rarity petlings, and then trade them for better pets, and there's just a whole perfect economy in row pets right now with the new petlings added into the game, and we need a great big feature like that in Overlook RP this summer. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and I hope that you guys have find yourself and have a lot of fun in Overlook RP. Until the new update, comment in the comment section below what update you guys want, and if you have any ideas, feel free to comment them. I will read them, give them a thumbs up and a like, and respond to it if you have any questions. So thank you guys so much for watching. This has been the Feral Daryl That Plays. Goodbye.